I have to say, Henry, I'm impressed. Really, I am. You're the first person to escape the uh, war. Uh, if my choice is Warp Star or Death, Death, I'll take Warp Star. You can paint me pink and call me Kirby. <laughs> no. No! We're back to the poop cauldron! How does this happen? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Henry Stickman Collection. Well, for today's episode, we're gonna be fleeing the complex again. And the last time, we managed to cause a distraction to rescue Ellie, which I consider to be a pretty big win, you know, because she's probably my favorite. And the video got over 98,000 likes, which I, I know it wasn't the 100,000 like goal that people were shooting for, but at the same time, I don't think people can really appreciate just how ridiculous that is. It's like I said, I've been doing YouTube for over five years. In that time, I've made eight 1800 videos and my three most liked videos ever are now all Henry Stickman over the last couple of weeks <laughs> Like your support is just overwhelming. So I really hope we can carry forward that momentum into completing the mission Have you ever noticed how our do not list has touch twice? Like, just because Henry has a raging stick boner for Ellie doesn't mean he's gonna be inappropriate. Like, if anything, this time around, he's gonna be a bit of a Judas. You know, playing dead, leaving her behind, abandoning her, escaping on his own. He's Grigori. Yeah, you know new one, Henry. He's dead. Yes. Put him with others. Okay. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna blame this one on Ellie. Yeah, if she was an ugly dude, then we could have murdered her and tested to see where the body goes before we committed. But no, Henry couldn't go and choke her to death because he wants her to choke him. Well, I'm thinking if we wait for transfer, we're definitely gonna abandon Ellie. But if we charge tackle Grigori, maybe we can stop him from getting on the walkie-talkie with the Charlie Brown teacher and then the two of us could get out of here? Oh, no, no. Oh. Oh, uh, actually... No, no, th th this is probably fine. This is... This is alright. I'm more than happy with seeing fails, even if it means we get shot in the butt. Well, I didn't exactly have a whole lot of time to browse my options, but I think Sonic Shoes stood out. Oh, yeah. Maybe we could just outrun the bullets? It really makes you think, why doesn't Dr. Robotnik try walls? I, I know they're not robots, so they're not exactly his shtick, but still. Now, hear me out. Maybe instead of trying to run through the walls, we should just use the pre-existing holes. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see those bullets turn a corner. I didn't think these cells had doors! I guess in all reality, Grigori can't be standing in every doorway. Uh, acrobatics. Yeah, because if you get a high enough Tony Hawk streak, then clearly they can't shoot you. You can't shoot me, but you could probably yell at me to stop because I don't really want to do anything. You have a very Dr. Robotnik looking mustache. Can I interest you in a wall plan? I'm like 99% sure I saw a graphing calculator taped to a revolver. How exactly is... Oh... It's a Gmod hack tool and we got banned for cheating. <laughs> I think. Is this technically a fail? Um, I'm gonna close this. Ah, oh, okay, it is a fail. These things flash on screen so quickly that I, I barely have time to get the reference. I just chose the Spider-Man one because of Spider-Man. He completely forgot that our hands are currently bound. I'm almost afraid to ask what we're gonna get in the Mario mystery box. Hopefully, okay. Oh. Uh, sir, I got a message. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, it looks like uh, Henry Stickman. Stick Stickman. Yeah, Henry Stickman has escaped. You still there? Attention! We have an escaped convict. He was last seen heading towards the surface. Don't make me do this myself.
Oh, I, I was gonna say, I can't believe the boo actually worked. Every time he goes uh, transparent or, or loses his ethereal form or whatever, he just falls to the center of the earth or floats up into space or disappears forever or teleports to another dimension. Like, it, it never works. Except for now. Uh, so our options are a tank, a guy with a sword, a boxing guy, or the exit. We should probably just go for the exit, right? <laughs> for a second there, oh, I thought that was the right answer. Oh. Why is there a Five Nights at Freddy's reference in this? You see, that one is completely unpredictable, but I think we all know what's gonna happen if I pick a fight with a tank. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. <laughs> no beating around the bush, nothing weird happening, just boom pow. So if I had to pick a fight between a guy with a giant sword or a guy with boxing gloves, which would I choose? I mean, clearly boxing gloves. Oh, oh, okay. As soon as I saw the shape of his head, I knew we were screwed. Oh, maybe I'm not supposed to be thinking about the weapons they're wielding, but rather the games that they represent. Like, if I had to choose between trying to beat Punch-Out or Final Fantasy, it's a whole lot easier to beat Final Fantasy. I still don't see how he's gonna screw this up, though. That sword is huge. Yeah. Didn't anticipate Henry finding a sword and plunging right, it into that dude's somewhere. cock. We cannot let him get through this gate. Oh, nice that. <laughs> okay, then. We need to get through the gate and... <laughs> Let's be completely honest, I'm not gonna read the other options because sandwich is the way to go. <sighs> Huh. I didn't see that coming. Oh, oh, God. Why does everyone go for the dick in this prison? Correction, everyone in this prison except for Ellie. Like, clearly, we're supposed to use the truck. Right? We're next to a giant truck. Markiplier's in the back. So let's go ahead and try costume. Where are you getting a costume? What are you going to dress up as? Hey, you want to trade out? This looks so nice. <laughs> Frosty's escaping. <laughs> I love that he just yelled, Frosty's escaping! And rather than telling him to stop, they shoot to kill! So the question now is, are we gonna just pretend to be a truck driver and sneak out of here and that'll be the end? Or are we gonna ram our way through the gate and probably get chased to our death? Hey, you wanna try that? The ladder. It'll be the... Definitely the latter. Oh no. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you guys. I did not get time to do anything. Were there even any options there? Did, did you guys see anything pop up? Sometimes I miss this stuff because I was going for bios, but I'm pretty sure the screen was blank. There's a chance my peripherals were letting me down. There's gotta be something. Shoot, shoot. Okay. So there weren't like actual pictures, it was just little arrows. Okay, Henry can't shoot. Anything with a trigger is automatically a fail. I don't have time to apply the Henry Stickman rules under pressure. It's pretty clear this truck was a massive mistake and you can't get concussion, so just bail. Oh, you found a parachute in a truck and thought that was a good idea. Even I thought that was a good idea for a second. That was a very hopeful, oh, before the bullets started flying. I am having a really hard time getting all of these people's bios, but I think I've got them, so slam? We're not getting that guy's bio, you know, unless it was off his tombstone. Oh. I have to say, Henry, I'm impressed. Really, I am. You're the first person to escape the uh, wall. But this if is my the choice is Warp you. Star or Death, what? I'll take Warp Star. You can paint me pink and call me Kirby. <laughs> no. No, we're back to the poop cauldron. How does this happen? 
I don't understand what else I was supposed I to do. My only option was Warp Star, anyway, and I thought it was a pretty was good one. Apparently, it's only going to take us from one prison to another. Is there something else here I'm supposed to be able to click on? Oh! Airbag. Yep. Kind of need that during the crash, not after. In all reality, we've made it pretty clear that he doesn't need airbags at all because he can't get a concussion because his head is made of mashed potatoes. So we do not want the warp star. That's a pass. Keep a coming airbag. No, we're going to pass on that to surrender. That doesn't seem right. It was in fact not right. Every time it cuts to a bit of a scene, I think, oh, that's a strange ending, but it just delays the fail. Would it be too much to ask for a fourth option? Like, if this is the truck with Markiplier in the back, he's probably not doing too well because there definitely aren't seatbelts or airbags back there. What? Might be able to let him out? He could crush Dimitri's skull with his bare hands? I don't know. Give me, give me something. Give me... Hmm. Well, that's just too bad. All right, everyone back to work. I will not forget about this. This is coming out of your paycheck. Oh, the presumed dead ending! I was gonna say he's just gonna freeze to death, but fortunately, there's a city nearby, so he should be able to find the proper papers, please. Okay, well, that's it's a, it's a good ending, but we kind of left Ellie, so I still feel kind of bad. I guess that means I'm gonna feel extra bad now, because if I wait for transfer, there's no way they're transferring the two of us. Alright, let's go. Have a good time. <coughs> oh, that must have been like a, a temporary holding cell, and now we're in our own individual cells, so this is more like escaping the prison. Really curious what they did with Ellie, though. Maybe we can get to her cell? We're definitely not going to be able to get to her cell using the teleporter. I mean, some of us might be able to, but our dick is going to be stuck in a wall. Don't hit the red button. Don't hit the red button. You hit the dick in a wall button. Come on now, brothers. My life for us. Oh. I... I guess the teleporter has been upgraded, and instead we completely changed game and genre? <laughs> How would anybody anticipate this button is gonna send me to StarCraft? I think the only reason Faking Dead didn't work is because they don't have a morgue, but I refuse to believe that they jettisoned the sick out the side of the building. If we fake illness, we should go to a nurse, right? <coughs> <coughs> Hi. Oh. No, no, wasn't really anticipating that. What do you think was wrong with that guy? Ray Rodolfo, he's come down with a case of leprosy. So he's been put in quarantine with the other sickly inmates. I mean, I don't really know how leprosy affects Stickman, but at the same time, is it too late for the trash shoot? Does anyone else find it a little suspicious when a cookie says, eat me? Like, honestly, that's the kind of thing you would put on a cookie that's filled with sedatives. Not quite sedatives, but I'm not sure what just happened. Well, we've got all the dumbest options out of the way and none of them were correct. So the question is, do we want to cut ourselves in half with a laser plane or deafen ourselves with a sonic pulse? <laughs> I mean, I don't really know if Henry has ears, right? So he probably can't be deaf. What just happened? Oh, he does have ears. Would you look at that? <laughs> I'm not even going to try to understand how hurting your ears makes you fold like a cheap chair, but let's see how we're going to not cut ourselves in half. Okay. 
Who did we just murder? Oh, oh crap. Uh, no, that wasn't Charles. Okay, good. I was gonna say the comments are gonna be pissed. We have a choice. Do we want the Top Hat Clan to help us or the government to help us? I don't really want either of them to help me, to be perfectly honest. We haven't really seen much of the Top Hat Clan on our side. Let's try this. <laughs> yes, hello. Henry? What are you? Eh, uh, in the complex? Called the wall? Oh, yeah, yes, of course, sir. Well, uh, we'll be right there. Uh, sit tight. Uh, I I'll let you know when we're close. Mm. Where, where exactly are you? Cafeteria? Mm, okay, got the map here. Uh, yes, there you are. Alright, how do you want to do this? How do I want to do this? Good question. Undercover agent, neurotoxin, or drill pod? Why do I feel like I remember a drill pod? <laughs> if that's the right answer, I'm pretty sure it is. I kind of want to see what happens if I hit them with the neurotoxin, especially because I did not get like 90% of those bios. Oh, that did- oh, we walked out into the neurotoxin. Why wouldn't we wait? What? Th that was a good plan, Henry! You're just an idiot! I want to say we've tried to go undercover like a dozen times now, and it has never worked, so I don't see how that's going to change now. Hey, Henry! It's me! Yeah, I'm, I'm undercover. Yeah, I'm here to break you out. What? It's a, a guy from the Top Hat Clan. I didn't recognize you with a different hat. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Like, clearly, Drill Pod has to be the right answer. But now I'm wondering if I'm actually thinking about stealing the diamond. Because I, I could have swore there were a bunch of people who break in with the Drill Pod, and then I escape on a scooter somehow. But that doesn't make any sense for here. Get to the airship! Yes, I Arnold, right away! I'm there. working on it, trust me! <laughs> Do we want a slingshot, sick ride, or magnet? Oh, I guess I was wrong. Oh, no, it's probably sick rides! <laughs> that must be my scooter. So, let's slingshot. I mean, let's be honest. Slingshotting into those turbines? <laughs> Oh, well, we didn't hit the turbines. I also don't see how we were expecting to get in. Actually, I don't see how we're going to get in with any of these options, right? Like, whether we make that jump with a scooter or with a magnet, we're just going to end up on the side of the ship. Or not. Maybe the side of the ship will end up on us. I guess if this thing can outrun a helicopter while hauling a diamond the size of a love seat, then maybe he can make that jump, like, up to the top? Or to one of the balconies where there's actually a door and not sudden death? That was a close one, Henry. But I'm not going to pull you up. See, without you, I become the leader of the Toppet Clan again. I just wanted to look you in the eyes as I took it all back. Goodbye. The Betrayed. We had better remember that for the next game. I still don't know how completing the mission is going to work, because there are so many endings, and it seems like none of them are canon, or all of them are canon. So, how exactly is the story gonna progress? And clearly, we're gonna have Ellie. I just really hope that we can get our comeuppance with that idiot. I guess I would rather have someone kill me by accident than on purpose. And we got seven more fails to find in the government end of things, and I would imagine all of them have something to do with Charles, Charlie, Chuck, whatever you want to call him. Yeah? Oh, Henry. Oh, how's it going? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. 
Huh. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm flying right now, actually. Where, uh, where are you? Hmm, the wall. Yeah, I think I've heard of that place. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on a mission, but, uh, I should have some time to swing by. Hey, so, uh, I'm getting pretty close. Yeah, just, uh, try to get outside and I'll, I'll, uh, you know. Hey. No, I, I, I don't know. You, you say you know, but I don't know what the plan is. You're the guy who's rescuing me. Do I want a bubble shield, earthbend, or flash? I mean, people got really mad when I called metal bending Magneto, because apparently I should automatically link that to Avatar, but earthbend actually makes sense, so we'll try that. Oh, how did that go wrong? It did go wrong. Okay, I was going to say, that was actually badass for a second. That random lady guard just ate it. I gotta be honest here. I have no sweet clue what Flash means. Bubble Shield should be a Halo reference. Maybe that'll keep them off my back for like five seconds. Yeah, ab about five seconds. <laughs> Any day now, Chuck! Even if it's the right answer, I still don't know what flash means. Where are you going? What? What indeed? Hey, so, uh, I see the wall. Oh, you're outside? Nice. I think I see you. Yeah, there's a guard in the way. I got this. Yeah, it'll, it'll be just like the old times. Yeah. No. No, it, it shouldn't be like the old times. The old times did not go well. You got me killed like 22 out of 26 possible opportunities. Guaranteed, if I leave this up to you, those thumbs are going right up my butts. I got the perfect plan. This is the greatest plan. Why does this plan always involve crashing the helicopter into me? Every time! I want him to just describe the plan. Like, what is the outcome he's hoping for here? He's gonna crash the helicopter into the two of us, and then... We have to choose between snipe or mini helicopter. Ooh, if there's one thing Chuck can actually do, it's fly a helicopter. He's proven that. I'll, I'll give him credit for that. So, I would imagine mini copter is... Probably a safe bet. He can't shoot worth a crap, though. Got him. Wait. Ooh. I mean, I'm now just to the point where I have nothing to say. I'm speechless. He's just that incompetent, except for flying. Go ahead, use the minicopter and... Fly it into that guy's junk, I guess? I doubt it's gonna be able to just rescue me off the bat. And there you go. Hey, I'm seeing a helipad up here. Could be a pretty good place to get picked up. Uh, once I get close, though, they'll, uh, they'll probably raise the alarm. Oh, yeah, they see me. I'm coming in, get ready. <gasps> oh, he's just... Coming in, you know, they might see me, but screw it. Well, we're just gonna go for it. I know I just murdered that guy back there, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, what are my options here? It looks like I can stop the guy with the rifle, the guy with the bazooka. I can just jump for it. Yeah, let's just run away. Screw Chuck. Just jump off the edge. Wait, was that the plan? Man, we really should have coordinated that better. I mean, I was not prepared at all. <laughs> For a second there, I thought, yeah, he's gonna dive down and catch me, and that's gonna be ingenious. Nope. What are the odds he's such a good pilot that if we don't distract him by jumping to our death, that he'll avoid the fire and we can just jump in? He may have avoided the fire. Henry, not so much. 
So do we want to take out the bazooka guard or do we want to take out the bullet guard? They both have their own merits. Like the bazooka is taking out the chopper. So I guess in all reality, no matter what we do, if the chopper goes down, we're going to fail. But at the same time, taking this guy out means that we wouldn't get shot ourselves. I'm going to try this. Yep, it's like I expected. He just takes out the helicopter and then we all lose. You had more than enough time to pick up the gun and shoot the other guy, but sure, let's just go ahead and get him and then hope not to get shot. International Rescue Operative. <laughs> so like I said, Chuck can fly and land on people. <laughs> so I think that's it. Yeah, five out of five, 60 out of 60. I don't know if there was a secret ending. I never found any items or any indication of there being an extra ending like with infiltrating the airship. If there is, be sure to let me know. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of the Henry Stickman Collection, guys. We've now 100% completed fleeing the complex, as far as I know, which means next episode, we finally get to move on to completing the mission. And I believe it has a lot of fails and a lot of endings, so it is gonna take quite a few episodes, which means if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know. Your support is the reason that I'm playing it so frequently. Usually, I make an episode of a game like every week. I've been playing this pretty much every other day just because you guys keep flooding it with likes, so keep it up and I'll return soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.